Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about our reaction plastics as well as our reaction jig heads. Starting off, I'm just going to show you the range of reaction plastics and the colors. So what we have here is our five and a half centimeter baby reaction plastics. So they come in black, blue, obviously white or pearl, light blue, we've got our blue speckle sci-fi, uh, gold, pink and of course our red. Now these packs you can either have as a multicolor pack like this or as individual ones. In other words, you'll have a packet of eight black or eight blue or eight white or eight sapphire or eight pink or eight red. Okay, so I will show you shortly what the whole range looks like. I'll take a photo and just post it for you. But that is our five centimeter ones. We go all the way up to a nine centimeter one, being our biggest one. And of course, the same colors apply in that range. As far as our reaction jig heads go, and that's what I'm talking about more, is size-wise, we've got our round bend heavy duty so they are a lot thicker than our normal uh, jig head so it's a stronger hook for the bigger fish but again weight wise it's a size 4 hook with 132 of an ounce a size 2 hook with 1 16th of an ounce a size 1 hook with a 1 8th of an ounce and of course you get a 1 0 with a one eighth of an ounce. Now these are the round bend heavy duty um, jig heads. Okay, so now I'm gonna be talking about our sickle hook shape reaction jig heads. It's a slightly lighter gauge hook and just to show or compare the two, this is a sickle shape. So in other words, it comes up, around and curves inwards. Why is that important? Basically, because of the shape and the bend of the point of the hook that bends inwards, it prevents the fish from throwing the jig head um, a lot easier than, for instance, our standard J-shape round bend. Now, like I said, the round bend is a heavier duty one. The sickle is a softer, lighter gauge one with a bent in point. Okay. So when it's shaking around in the kingfisher's mouth or bass's mouth or whatever it might be, less chance of it being thrown, but it is lighter. Okay, so sickle shape, standard round bend. Okay, so size-wise, the sickles come in a size um, 2, 1 16th of an ounce, a size 1, 1 8th of an ounce, and a 1 0 one eighth of an ounce. So then you've got a wide range of uh, sickle shape um, jig heads. Now, in saying that, how do we put them together? How does it work? Okay, let me just grab my mustard uh, scissors here, braid scissors, and I'm just going to show you how we rig it. I'm just going to take the black one out here. Okay, so that is the size. If I put it in my palm of my hand, you can see the size of the ultralight paddle tail and then I'm just going to use the standard uh, 132 of an ounce. So it's a very light little jig head with a very light small little spread size paddle tail. Now let's show you how we do it. Because the point of the nose is actually rounded we want to flatten it off so it actually sits flush against the actual round bend over there of the, our uh, jig head. So what we're going to do, we're just going to lightly 
snip it like that, just to flatten the nose a bit. It'll just allow it to sit a lot uh, neater. Okay, so what we do is we put the jig head next to the actual um, soft plastic reaction, turn it to its side, so where the bend is, that part over there where my finger is, that's where we basically want to come out. So let's do it again. Put that next to it, and then we just make a little mark. So there's my mark over there. Now all we're going to do is go straight through the center. Just like that. And we work our way down, threading it on, until we get to where that mark is that I've made. Slide it back down onto the actual plastic. And there we go. So there's our ultralight micro uh, jig head already. And of course, this can be used in dams, rivers, sea, estuary, harbors, anywhere. Extremely good fun for catching those small little fish. So there we go. Our round bed jig head, ready to fish. The sickle shape one is a little bit harder to use. Okay, so let me just grab one of these blue ones here. Come out. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to take a blue one. And I'm just going to lay it in my hand so you can see. That is the bigger um, reaction plastics. And I'm going to take the sickle head. And I'm going to stick it next to it. Okay, so now what we want to do is, again, because it's a wider head area, and that's a lot smaller. I just want to cut it off just before. You'll see there's a little R part on this. I want to cut it off just before that, just to flatten it off. So now what we do, again, is our measurement. Stick the sickle head, the viper sickle head uh, over there. And you can see it basically comes to where that first little bump is on that marking. So that's where I need it to come out. So here we go. Straight through the center. And we keep on moving it all the way down until we get to where that first bump is. There we go. Push it out. Push it on. Okay, so there we go with our uh, sickle head shape. And like I said, it's very important that sickle head shape, so when a fish bites down on it, that that part there, when he's shaking around, doesn't actually um, throw it. There we go, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to show you our stretch floating plastics, which is a wide range you've seen before. I've done a couple of uh, videos on them. Okay, so there we go. So that is our stretch reaction plastic. Why have a stretch reaction plastic? Pretty much when you're fishing for those teethy fish like shad and that, it doesn't break as easily as a soft plastic one. It lasts a lot longer and it's more durable at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm just going to take my round uh, Viper jig head. And I'm just going to show you how to insert it into one of our reaction uh, floating plastics. Okay, why floating plastic? Well, basically this one, when you bounce it off the bottom, the tail is going to sit up and the fish is actually going to sit like that. So it's going to look like a feeding fish on the bottom, whether it be a dam, a river, sea, anywhere. It basically imitates a fish that is feeding on the bottom. And of course, as you pull it up, the tail's going to make a vibration and look like a fish moving. Okay, so again, all we're going to do is just snip it off just above where the eyes are. There we go. So all I've done is cut a little bit off there, taking a round viper jig head and then just giving it a bit of a mark. So the mark is going to be there where my finger is. It's quite hard to actually make a mark in this. And remember always... The paddle tail needs to face the top. So that's the top part, that's the bottom. Okay, so there we go. So 
Okay, so there we go. I've gone through it. I've come out where I need to come out. And like I said, the stretch reaction plastics basically can stretch and do what it wants. It's not going to break or tear. Ideal for bass fishing, shad fishing, um, any of those fish with uh, teeth, absolutely brilliant. And like I said, you fish this one basically on the bottom, bouncing off the bottom, and as you lift up your rod tip, this will come up and the tail will bounce and go up and down and up and down. So that's how you fish this particular reaction one. There it is there, guys. Guys, and I'm now going to show you the range of jig heads, the Viper um, bullet heads. It's called the Viper bullet heads. I'm going to show you that range. Again, it comes in a sickle hook as well as a round bend. Okay, so basically the difference between the round bend and the sickle, the sickle is um, a thinner gauge hook with a round bend on it, which makes it a lot harder for the fish to actually throw when he's shaking his head around. <clears throat> Why the difference between a round head and a bullet head? Okay, so a bullet head is basically designed to sit straight down compared to a round head which is designed to hit the bottom and then roll over. Okay, so that's the main difference. So, how do we rig them? How do they work? Okay, so let me just grab one here quickly. I'll grab our light little one in the Viper range that is that I'm doing. So that is what they call a bullet head. It's rounded, it's mushroom shaped. Um, it's got little hook holders on it, which stop your lure from being pulled off. And of course, it's got the sickle shape on it. So mushroom head, sickle shape, good to go. It works extremely well with our reactions in our smaller sizes, and I showed you these before. Um, that little hook keeper holds the plastic on a lot better. Obviously, the smaller sizes are designed for the 5 centimeter ones. As we go on to our bigger range, our heavier ones, they become a lot bigger. The bigger heads will, again, sink a lot faster. And, yeah, it just holds on the bottom a lot better. I'm just going to rig it to one of our creature baits. <clears throat> so when you're fishing in all around sticks, grass, stones, rocks, whatever you want to call it, a heavier duty head with a thicker gauge and obviously for bigger fish. Again, these already come with a flattened head which fit perfectly on our little creature bait. To rig it, all we do is, with it's a round bend, you're going to take it there where the bend is, make a little mark, Stick it in through the center and pull it all the way through. Now you'll see in the reactions they actually give you a little slit where the hook actually goes. Okay, so you'll see that in the reactions they actually give you a little slit where your hook should come out if you're going to be rigging it like that. So there it is there. I'll show you there quickly my hand. So there's your little creature bait with his little arms and feelers. This again, you're going to bounce off the bottom, throw into the holes, and as you pick it up, it will drop down and the arms will move. And that's pretty much what's going to happen with that bait there. Um, I'll do one of the crawdad ones. So fishing in the harbour. Here we go. Nice big claws on this reaction. Lots of little feelers and tentacles that move around. Let's grab another one here. And again, like I said, this is the heavy duty one. So when you're fishing for bigger, stronger fish, grab that mushroom head. Okay, so there it is there. Now all we're going to do, again, you just measure, it's flattened on the side. If you want to, like I said, that's more rounded. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a snip. There we go. So I've just flattened that off nicely. I'm going to place that next to it, like so. 
You're going to see I come out right between those two, two legs there. And here we go. I'm going to go straight down. And we're going to come out right between the legs. Let's see if I've done it. Here we go. Slide him along. And remember, this one here is the floating one. Okay. So what we do is we just take him, push him all the way down until he's on the actual bottom of the hook keeper there. And remember, this is the floating one in our reaction plastics. And this is going to stand up automatically in the water. It's going to stand up with the little claws on that. And they're going to move around. As you shake him, it's just going to keep on vibrating on the bottom. That one will stand up. It's our floating reaction plastics. Just remember that. So guys, go out there. Get your a desired hook shape, your lure that you're looking for, and go and have fun. Lots of rivers, lots of dams, lots of places where you can go and throw these. They're very universal um, lures, as well as our jig heads that pretty much are what we use for ultralight fishing in our rivers and that there, and our dams and our seas. So if you want to have fun, go out for a day, try it, and see what happens. Enjoy, guys.